hi everybody uh, this is part two of uh, word problems of um, with rational numbers and uh, the part one i already posted it so you guys can watch that first and then this one sierra is supposed to practice flute for a total of five and a half, uh, five one fourth hours every week so let me underline everything this is uh, one fourth hour every week this week she practiced 15 minutes on sunday and they're giving me a hint that's one fourth of an hour so they want me to change like minutes into hours one hour on monday 30 minutes which i'm going to change it into hours on tuesday 45 minutes on wednesday 15 minutes on um, Thursday 45 minutes on Friday how many hours do you see the uh, question is really asking hours right if the question is asking then I have to change each one of the minute in two hours um, must she practice on Saturday to meet her required practice time for the week so how many hours she may uh, pra uh, must she practice on Saturday to meet her required practice time for the week so if you guys pay attention here first of all the total hours she has is five hour uh, five one fourth hours all of these uh, other stuff that she is working on like uh, she practiced 15 minutes on sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday and friday so i have to add all of this and before i add i have to change them into hours because the question is asking for uh, the answer in hours i'm going to show you and i'm going to write down here something easy that you will remember it uh, it's if you are changing if you are changing uh, like small units to larger units okay if you're changing small units to larger units then you always always divide okay if you are changing larger units to smaller then you multiply okay this is what i mean now if you guys pay attention since i have to change every a minute to uh, hours then minute is small and I'm changing into hours which is larger then it means I have to divide what do I have to divide like for example if I have uh, 15 minutes they are also uh, already giving me that they said this is one fourth okay so I'm just gonna write one fourth plus one hour on Monday is also already an hour 30 minutes how do I change this 30 minutes to hours so what are you gonna do 30 and since we know it's dividing we're dividing like one minute is equal one, uh, one hour is equal 60 minutes so I'm gonna divide this by 60 so that the this one is gonna turn to half right when I simplify 0 0 cancel 3 times 1 is 3 3 times 2 is 6 so it's gonna give me half hour now for 45 minutes I'll do the same thing I will do 45 and I'm dividing because I'm changing small unit to larger and I'm dividing and I'm going to divide by 60 when I simplify this it's going to give me 3 fourth you can use a calculator and do that so I got 3 fourth for 45 minutes then I have 15 minutes which is 1 fourth and you're going to do the same thing you divide 15 divided by 60 so that's 1 fourth this is 45 minutes we already did 45 minutes three fifth a uh, three fourth so when you add all of this it's going to give me three and a half so three and a half hours she already practiced practiced so far so that's what she practiced so far okay now and she has five and a half hours so they said how many hours must she practice on saturday so if i subtract three and a half hours from five one fourth that's her total hours and this is going to give me one three fourth like one hour three fourth she uh, time left to practice on saturday so that much time left to practice 
on Saturday. Okay, so that's the answer for that one. Now let's go to the next question. This one, Julie's making a triple batch of cookies from a recipe. She will divide up the cookies by giving three-fifths of a single batch to each class she visits tomorrow. How many classes, how many classes she will she be delivering cookies tomorrow so she said making a triple batch she's she's making triple batch like three batches and uh, she will divide up the cookies by giving three fifths so they're already telling us divide up three fifths so i'm dividing three by three fifths when you plug this in in the calculator it's gonna give me five so um she this is this is what three batches means right three batches and three fifth is the uh, split into groups like uh, divide into groups and five is uh, five groups how many classes to how many classes will she be delivering cookies tomorrow five classes okay so that's how you do that. I have a few more questions up here James is making a cheesecake. The recipe calls for one three fourth cups of cream cheese. Okay, now it's the one three fourth cup of uh, cream cheese. The cream cheese comes in one eighth cup cubes. How many cubes of cream cheese need to go into his cheesecake mix? So if I divide one three fourth by one eighth. It's going to give me 14 cubes. He said, how many cubes of cream? And since one eighth uh, cup, the cream cheese comes in one eighth cup cubes. Like I have like uh, uh, each cup, um, the cream cheese comes in one eighth cup cubes. Like I have cubes in one eighth cup. Okay, so that's one eighth cup cubes. So, how, and uh, James needs one three fourth cups of cream cheese. So, when you divide, since they said how many cubes of cream cheese, so it's a division. So, it's 14 cubes. Next, Alyssa is coordinating a fundraiser for her cheer um, team. There are 12 girls on the team. Uh, the top three sellers raised two fifth of the money, and the lowest three raised one eighth. Of the money what fraction of the money did the remaining six girls so let's figure it out how much is this this is uh, when you do the least common denominator or use a calculator it's going to give me 21 over 40 so total is 40 okay so how much since I we already know that that uh, there are 12 total girls so together it's going to be if this is six girls then how much is for the other six girls? now the easy way it's going to be 40 because that's total so 21 40 then how much is left it's 19 40 because 19 and 21 when you add them it's 40 so that's how much um, money did the remaining six goals will raise that much okay uh chef sanchez has a secret recipe for his salsa each batch is um Three fifth of tomatoes so I have three fifth of tomatoes one eighth is onion and one tenth is pepper I don't know if they're asking I, I, I'm supposed to add I just wrote it down and the remainder is equal amounts of seven different secret spices so I have to add them together first so it's gonna give me 33 40 when you use a calculator that's what it is and then they said um, for his salsa so i'm subtracting that 33 40. they said the remainder is equal amount of seven different secret spices so i have to subtract and see how much is the remainder the remainder is 740. that's the remainder okay so now they said the remainder is equal amount of seven so it means i'm dividing that by seven and it's going to give me 140 and they said what fraction of a batch so this is 140 of a batch now if you guys check this this is exactly what they are telling me to divide and the remainder which is 740 
is equal amounts of seven different secret spices what fraction of a batch is each secret spice ingredient so if i divide by seven the remainder then 140 of a batch okay so if you have any questions please comment below and uh, i will help you out if there is anything you want to know so please subscribe like my video thank you bye